Good morning, afternoon, or evening to anyone watching this video. My name is Franz Nicolas, and this is my partner. Hi everyone, my name is Wilbur Ching. Our teacher, Dr. Ong, gave us an assignment to talk about the phases of plaque formation. Plaque formation. Without further ado, let's go on to the introduction. Before I explain what the stages are, we must first know what plaque is. So plaque is a sticky film of bacteria, hence the other name dental biofilm, that sticks on the tooth. These produce acids, which then destroy the tooth enamel and cause cavities, gingivitis, and the like. Now how does plaque formation happen? It occurs in three specific phases. First is the formation of the pellicle on the tooth surface. Second is the initial adhesion or attachment of bacteria. And third is the plaque maturation or colonization. The first phase, formation of pellicle. Apparently, all surfaces in the oral cavity are coated with something known as the acquired pellicle, which is a layer of organic material. So this covers the tooth, this covers the gingiva, you name it, both hard and soft tissue. So this pellicle actually contains lots and lots of molecules that function as adhesion sites or receptors for the bacteria. So like I said, the enamel is covered with pellicle. So the bacteria doesn't come in contact with the enamel directly, but comes in contact with the pellicle. So basically, there is a relationship between the pellicle and the associated microbiology, but you have to note that no biofilm can grow on a pellicle that came from a different subject. You can see this pellicle actually through transmission electron microscopy and see that it has two layers. The thick globular layer, which is easier to remove or detach, and the thin basal layer, which is very hard to remove. This is the second phase, initial adhesion attachment of bacteria. This happens immediately after the introduction into the oral cavity. What happens is that if there are interactions between the adhesive molecules of the bacteria to the receptor sites at the salivary pellicle, it will remain associated. But only a few bacteria have this adhesin molecule. These are, these are considered the primary colonizers, which provide new binding sites for adhesion of other bacteria. They modify the local environment in a way to be able to make other bacteria survive in the dental plaque biofilm. So where does dental plaque growth start? Here, they are protected from shear forces. The third phase. So what happens here is that the primary colonizing bacteria that came from the previous phase will then provide the receptors that will be used by other bacteria to attach to the surface, a process known as co-adhesion, which will then lead to the development of microcolonies than the development of the mature biofilm. So there are different species that have different coagulation partners. So coagulation plays an important role in oral colonization, and they can do it differently from one another. So some do it by intergeneric coagulation, some just adhere to the bacteria that's already present inside the dental plaque. Phases of colonization, we will just be briefly discussing. Phase one involves the initial transport of bacteria to the tooth surface. These are the types of transport. Phase two, initial adhesion. So. In a sense, it's just initial adhesion of the bacteria. According to the book, it's actually difficult to explain how initial attachment will occur because it is affected by the environment. So the following theories are done to explain how they are attached to the surface. And here they are. Phase 3. This is the firm anchorage between the bacteria and the surface. And it happens after the initial adhesion. Think of rough surfaces. Bacterial growth in older plaque is much more slower than in newer formed dental plaque. This is presumably because nutrients are scarce. When a single microorganism adheres to the tooth surface, it can start to multiply and slowly form a microcolony, which will then lead to a mature biofilm. 